sure. I didn't turn on. Excuse me? Camera's on. Camera's on? Mm -hmm. Howdy. Take <laughs> <laughs> one. How are you? All right. It's 9.30. I'm going to call the meeting to order. Uh, we have a quorum set by the attendance of uh, Vice President Bill Herman, myself, Dan Sullivan, Treasurer Deborah Isaacs, and Director John Hope. Also present is our Executive Officer uh, Richard Lawrence and our Executive Secretary Christina Rodriguez and several mem members are in the audience, and Memo Guzman is also monitoring the meeting. Uh, this should not be long. The uh, first thing that uh, we have to do here is uh, I'm going to make a report on an email vote that was taken over two-day period, October 19th and October 20th. That was a vote by the Board of Directors as authorized by Property Code 209. The vote was to authorize our Executive Director to seek out and engage uh, a law firm or attorney to represent us in dealing with uh, several document requests by members. And so let the record please note that that email vote passed by a vote of three to two, three in favor, two against. So the executive director was authorized. Subsequent to his search and meet, he met with a uh, law firm and attorney in San Antonio. They have proposed an engagement letter and uh, we are going to review that and uh, take action on it in our executive session, which we will have. Before, I hope I'm not mumbling. Can, no, sir. can you hear me all right? Yes, sir. Okay. Before uh, we go forward, I would just like to address the issue of when this meeting was scheduled. This is something due to circumstances and potential threats, which are threats not only against uh, individuals, but also the association as a whole, it is imperative that we have proper legal representation. And although we haven't had official notice of any lawsuit, uh, I believe in the, the ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So we want to make sure we handle everything properly and correctly. Our members deserve that, the association deserves that. Consequently, this meeting had to be done soon. So last Wednesday, I was aware of it and sent out a notice to all the directors telling them we were going to have this meeting at 9.30 this morning. Uh, no one came back. I also said we would send out the regular public notice the next day, Thursday, which we did. At that time, nobody uh, came forth with a problem ahead of time saying, oh, you can't have it then. I did not ask for it. I will acknowledge it, but it didn't, wasn't given. Trying to get five people together to meet all at the same time uh, can be a bit of a problem and time consuming. I will use uh, a case in point. In August, I wanted to hold a town hall meeting the first week in September and in discussing it with our five board members, including myself, before we could come to a conclusion and a date, it was October 9th. It took over a month. Uh, the same thing happened at the last board meeting when we needed to schedule a special meeting to work on the ad hoc committee reports that had come in from the Rules and Regulation, RV Park, and uh, what was the other one? Uh, Renters. Renters. Renters, and Renters, Renters and Agreement. Renters and Rules and Regulation. There again, in discussing it over, it took a month before we could come to a, uh, an agreement when it was convenient for us all to attend. <clears throat> also, when I send out emails, it's a rarity that I get a response back in less than two days from everyone. Some people respond quickly, other people don't. Some people never respond. 
And so I simply set the meeting as we needed to do it, let everybody know, didn't hear anything. We sent out the public notice the next day, I believe, in the afternoon. And so here we are. But I just wanted that to be on the record. There was a reason that we didn't go into a conference with five people as deciding when to have this meeting. Uh, with that, I'll ask if any of the other directors have any comments they want to make before we adjourn into executive session. None? Nope. Okay. I would entertain a motion to adjourn into executive session to uh, deal with the proposed engagement letter from the law firm. I second the motion. I need someone to make a I make oh. a motion that we... I thought you did. No. <laughs> Sorry. I make a motion that we go into executive session okay. to discuss John has made that offer. motion. I will second it. Bill has seconded it. All in favor? Unanimous. With that, note the town 934. Yeah. I will just off the record and let everyone know the reason this is done is an executive session that involves discussions and negotiations with the law firm, which by law are uh, the law lawyers are protected with everything is confidential with them. Uh, for the most part, so that's why it has to be done in executive session. All right. Okay. We're moving. Mm -hmm. We're moving. It was off. It was off. It's on now. It's on now. So don't say anything. You know they're looking at those videos. <laughs> All right, we have adjourned the executive session at what time? 1024? And are reconvening the regular session at 1025 a.m. Uh, in the executive session, the uh, directors and executive officer had an uh, extensive discussion of this engagement letter with uh, the law firm that we have contacted of Roberts, Marco, Weinberg, Butler, and Haley. By unanimous vote of 4-0, we agreed to enter into this engagement letter. It's not a contract, and it does not really obligate us to anything except it creates a relationship between this law firm, which are highly certified and experienced in HOA law, with uh, our organization, our association. And real estate. And they are in real estate and HOA law, both commercial, industrial, residential real estate and HOA law. Represent, they represent about 1,600 HOAs across the state of Texas. Some are referred to as community organizations. There's some of them as small as two units and others that go into the thousands of units and, and are very complex. Uh, they've been doing it for over 35 years. With that, anyone else have any comments? I have to make a motion. Okay, that concludes our business and I'll take a motion to adjourn. We have to make a motion to engage. Yes. 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 Well, I thought we already voted to do that. You want to do it here too? Well, we have to do it. All right. Make the, the motion that we uh, engage this law firm through the uh, engagement letter. I make a motion we engage the law firm through the engagement letter. I second it. All in favor? Motion. I make a motion to adjourn. I second it. All in favor? <laughs> um, I think if any of you, uh, the, the meeting is now officially over and done. If any of you have specific questions or information you'd like uh, 